Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. I'm starting this lesson with the main.html document open in Dreamweaver. And so far we've been working on the structure of our HTML page. So we've entered all the divs that we need for the actual structure. But as yet we've got no content at all added. And if I switch to design view, you can see that our page is completely blank. I'll just come back to code view. I'm just going to switch over to our finished website so that we can just take a look at that. So we've got our logo area at the top, our social media icons, our navigation system and then the banner. And then underneath that we have some text and this is in the content area. Now each of our pages is going to display different content. So in this lesson we're just going to add some simple text to act as a placeholder before we add our actual content. So I'm going to switch back to Dreamweaver. Before I start entering some text, I'm going to switch to split view so that we can see our web page and we can also see the code. The area that we're going to work on first is the content area. And this is our content div. And in it at the moment, we've just got the structure of the three boxes that will appear at the bottom of the page. Just underneath the opening content div, I'm going to insert a heading. So I'll tab in and headings are contained in heading tags. And we can have heading one, heading two, three, four, up to six. And our first level heading is the H1 tag. So I'm going to open up the H1 tag now and close the tag. And I like to close my tags as soon as I open them. So I'm just going to close off that H1 tag. And now I'll place my cursor in between the two tags. And I'll type in main heading. So I've got my opening and closing heading one tags and main heading. And when I look at the preview, nothing has appeared here as yet. And that's because I need to make this window active. So if I click, you'll see that the main heading appears at the top of the page. And this is quite big and bold text. And that's the default settings of the browser for the H1 tag. I'm just going to make a little bit of space underneath this heading just so that we can have a look at the different heading levels. To highlight a complete line of text, I can use the line numbers on the left hand side here. So my heading one or my main heading is sitting on line 38. So I'm going to click on 38 and that highlights the entire line. I'm going to use control C on the keyboard to copy that. And then I'm going to come down and click on line 39. Again, I'm going to use the keyboard and this time control V to paste. And I'll paste one more instance of that into the code. Then when I come back over to the preview area and click, you'll see that that updates and I've now got three level one headings. Let's just have a look at the second and third level headings as they would appear in the browser. So I'm going to change the H1 tag to H2. And because I've adjusted the opening tag, I also have to adjust the closing tag. So I'll make that H2 as well. We'll do the same for the one underneath and this time we'll make this a level 3 heading or an H3 tag. So we've got three different tags here now, H1, H2 and H3. Then when I come across and I click into this window, you can see what the three different heading levels look like. You'll also notice that if I highlight some text in the design window, it also gets highlighted in the code window. So I've highlighted the level 2 heading here and the level 2 heading text has been highlighted in the code window. So this is very useful when we're editing our text or adding content to the actual page. 
I'm going to get rid of these two additional headings here. We don't need those. And let's just come back to our preview. So now we've just got the main heading in there. And just quickly going back to our finished version, we can see that we've got a heading and we've also got two paragraphs of text on the page. So we'll put these in there next. And to save a little time, I'm just going to highlight this text and copy it. And then we'll switch back to Dreamweaver. So just underneath my heading, I want the paragraph of text to appear. So I'm going to come down, create a little bit of space, and a paragraph of text appears within a P tag. So I'm going to open up a P tag. And again, I like to close my tags as soon as I've opened them. It's easy to forget to do that, and it's quite important that you do close your tags. Place my cursor in between the opening and closing P tag, and now I'm just going to choose Control V on the keyboard to paste that information in. You'll notice that all of the text that I've pasted in has appeared on one line. And if we scroll right back to the other side, this is where it starts and it ends right over here on the far side of the code page. I can, if I want to, switch on text wrapping. And I do that by clicking the word wrap button in the toolbar on the side here. And if I click on that, you'll see that the text wraps and now I can see all of the text that I've entered. I like to leave the word wrap switched off because it then gives me a clearer view of my code. So I'm going to go and switch that one off. And let's scroll back to the beginning. So we've got our main heading and then we have our paragraph of text. To make the text appear on the design window, I just need to click in here and my paragraph will appear. My finished page shows two paragraphs of text. So again, I'm going to copy this sample text by selecting the line number. And I'll use Control C to copy. I'll miss a line and then come down to line 42. And I'll paste a second copy of that paragraph just underneath. And when we come and click into the design window, we can see now that we've got two paragraphs of text. Entering some sample text like this is quite useful for getting a feel as to how your page is going to look. OK, so I've entered the heading and I've entered a couple of paragraphs of text. I'm just going to save this now. So I'll come to File and Save. And then I'll preview the page in my default browser by pressing F12. So this is our page and it now contains that heading and the two paragraphs of text. In our next lesson, we'll start to add some images to our web page.